Okay guys, welcome back to part two. Here we're gonna be moving our transition, which we talked about working only through internal rotation, but now we're gonna feather out into external rotation on the opposite side. This I like to call my picnic pose, or a 90-90, where his hip and his knee is at 90 degrees on the front leg, and 90 degrees and 90 degrees on the back leg. Here he's simply gonna transition now, my way, Julian, both hips and knees over to this side. Here he can freestyle and start to play a little bit. You can go back and forth and back and forth, trying to wind up and unwind and wind and unwind. Or you can spend a little bit extra time focusing on either the lead leg or the back leg. If the lead leg is his focus, it's very similar to the old pigeon pose. So you're gonna rotate your trunk around my direction, aiming your belly button towards that side. He might bring his other arm over here. Depending on his range, he may end up flat on the ground. Options here, push that leg down, or try and lift the leg up. You're not actually gonna see it press down or lift up. You're really only using about 20% muscle firing here. So it's just for extra motor recruitment to teach your brain how in the world you got into that position in the first place, which allows you to have better muscle firing when you get out of it for performance. His back leg, he wants to rotate his body around to the left, keeping his legs in the same position. Now he's working on left internal rotation and flexion. If he's tight here, he can lean back which bails him out of hip flexion on that side. But if he's got great range, he's actually gonna to wanna to challenge and go over top of that left leg or rotate his trunk towards the left. Again, options here would be to press down with the leg, maybe 30 seconds on up to 60 seconds and or try and lift up. With these pushes and these pulls, he's not trying to use his body strength from his arms or his torso or his, his, um, his belly. He's just simply trying to use the leg in isolation, almost like an isometric exercise. Does that feel all right? Feels terrible, I know. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna be moving on into part three.